Public debt levels continue to rise in the Eurozone. We have just published our annual Eurozone borrowing report for 2015, and with us today to discuss the report is Senior Director Frank Gill. Uh, Frank, what's the outlook for the Eurozone this year? Well, uh, gross issuance of commercial debt should be slightly lower than it was in 2014, but as you said, we do expect overall levels of Eurozone sovereign debt to increase by 239 billion euros during 2015. That would be 6.4 trillion euros of central government debt by year end. That's a lot of debt. Uh, it is, but probably not that surprising given that private levels of debt have been paid down. So you've actually seen negative credit growth across the euro area for 32 consecutive months since May of 2012. It's only recently that you've seen a s slight improvement of credit conditions, e e even in Italy, though year over year credit continues to contract in countries like Spain. Are there any other underlying trends? Well, with the ECB in January having announced it was going to purchase 60 billion euros of supranational and sovereign debt in secondary markets this year, that's really pushed down the funding costs to all-time lows for various Eurozone members. So you have Italy and Spain financing themselves at around 1.3% for 10 years, and German funding costs are actually close to zero on some maturities and even negative in, in the short end of, of the curve. So that could lead to some opportunistic pre-financing this year for 2016. Thanks, Frank. And thank you for watching CMTV. If you'd like to have a look at uh, the projections in our Eurozone uh, commercial borrowing report for 2015, please see the report on the Global Credit Portal.